Michael Kastner and soap opera weekly editor-in-chief Mimi Torchin are coming to us live from outside the Marriott Marquis Hotel in New York. Hey guys, it looks Michael, like tonight's ceremony is shaping up to be quite an event. Or is Mimi not there with you, Michael? Oh, oh she Mimi's is. right down here. Here I am. How are you doing? Hello. You know, one of the things that um, uh, folks have, have said about soaps for years, which really is no longer true, is that, you know, it's it's kind of a thing that you don't want to do. Or no what more stigma. No it's more. over. In fact, actors die to be on soaps. It's the steadiest work that there is, and they get better and better all the time. Not that they weren't always great, but believe me, there's no stigma anymore. But, you know, a lot, a lot of people got their starts on soaps, even before it was chic to be on a soap. You know where I first saw Demi Moore? Yes, of course I do. General, General Hospital. Hospital. And she and John Stamos... He was Blackie Parrish, mm -hmm. and what did she play? What was her uh, role? She, oh, my God. Uh, I know. I Templeton, Jackie Templeton, and... You know everybody. Do you know who played her sister? Janine Turner. No. Played Laura Templeton, I and didn't she know was that. brought on because Jeannie Francis was going off, and it was supposed to be, maybe this Laura was the same as the other Laura. So there's three people that were in the same storyline that are off in uh, primetime TV and movies, and, of course, to me, is about one of the biggest stars there are. There Basically, are. There is. There, oh. there is. There are. It's okay. We, we're on television. We don't I'm have to speak I'm only an proper. editor. I don't have to speak English. <laughs> It is a really important thing for people to do, and it's also like, uh, let's see, Liz Taylor was on, I remember, for oh, Luke sure. and Laura's wedding in uh, 81, was it? Uh, I think it was 81. Oh, please don't anybody hold it against me. Dates are really not my strong suit, <laughs> but Carol Burnett was also on um, All My Children, uh -huh. and Sammy Davis Jr. had a, a, a long-term part. I mean, I think he was on for a few months on uh, One Life to Live. Um, so oh, I know another one. Yes. Joan Crawford filled in, remember, from for Mommy her daughter. Dearest, for her daughter, right. Christina, when she had a role. I Which think was it was kind Love of, of Life. Oh, I yes. I mean, Christina was about 22 and Joan was about 53. No, 40. <laughs> a you lot know, older. But it's the magic of television, right? Tell us, what, what's one of the, the most popular soaps going on right now? Do they, do they, you know, what, Well, Young and Restless. Ones? I mean, Young and Restless is the number one for three years. Mm -hmm. um, you can't, what makes it, it hot, you can't you get near it. Uh, well, you know, again, characters and storyline. And, and also, Young and Restless is on at noon. Mm -hmm. It comes on at 12.30 to 1.30. And that's a real popular time for soap viewing. People are home at lunch or they can get away from their office at lunch. All My Children, which is second, is also um, on at, it's on at 1 o'clock. So it's a, it's a good viewing time. And it's very glamorous. Very, very glam, Young and Restless, you know? And, and I think it's something, I think that, that fans want romance, they want reality, but I think that they also want a little something to take them out of, out of the realm of reality. Uh, and that's what soaps have to balance. They have to, give you, they have to give you the grit with the glamour, and I think, that, I think there's no other medium like it. They do everything, and they do it brilliantly. You know, I, I watch a bunch of them, because friends like Antonio are on, and I gotta catch up, you know, with what they're doing. How do you follow all of the soaps? How do you possibly keep track of everything? Uh, well, I have an extra brain that's attached to the back <laughs> of my head. Lots of VCRs yeah, going, lots, right? I mean, you know, I watch three or four soaps regularly, and then I dip into other soaps. And my other editors, they watch three or four soaps regularly and dip into the other. So between us, we've got them all covered. We know a lot about some and a little bit about the rest. I, I need to know a lot about a lot because I get a lot, asked a lot of questions, but I, I trip up every once in a while. Do you find out things? Yes. ahead of time we find out before even the actors we i've known sometime when actors were going to be fired from their jobs before they did and it's sort of a horrible thing to know but it's part of the business we don't tell anybody you know and we keep the secret we don't we don't give away the plot twist because we don't want to ruin the viewing for the folks you know we want to enhance it but uh we do know a lot of things. In fact, sometimes there's some things that I know that I don't want to know uh, on the soaps that I watch. I I'd rather be surprised every now and then. But people do like to know what's happening ahead of time. They like to be prepared for it. Well, I'm going to surprise you right now. I understand that we have a nominee. Who is it? Can you say that again to me? Tonya Locker is coming by here, a nominee. Oh, great. I'll uh, get out of the way. You can okay, well, actually, you can stay on in here if yeah, you'd like. Thanks a lot. From One Life to Live, how are you? Hi, I'm wonderful. How are you? Really good. Mimi Torchin. Hi. You. You, look you look fabulous. Beautiful. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. She knows everything about soap operas. Tell us, what's the fans were going nuts for you? I love these people. I love you guys. <laughs> this, is, this, uh, this is the greatest compliment that anybody could be paid, and I'm thrilled to be in this wonderful group of actresses. I really am. I know everybody says that says that every year, but I really sincerely mean it, and, and I, I'm just tickled to be recognized by my by my you know constituents, my peers, actually. I just yelled, I love you guys, and they said, yes, yeah, so what, get out of the way, we want to see her, you know, they it's did? not the same. Oh, I'm sorry, I doubt it. Do, do all your, your... Maybe they your, just didn't get a good look at you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> do all of your castmates, you know, do all of you guys pull for each other sitting at the same table? Oh, you bet, absolutely. Tom, Christopher, everybody knows how much we love one another, and um, we're very, very good friends. Bobby Woods and I are very, very good friends. These are both of my previous leading men. 
So, as a matter of fact, they're the only two leading men I've had on One Life to Live. So. Do you watch other soap operas? Oh, absolutely. How? You're working so long. I've always been a fan of soap operas. And, um, Nathan, my pal. Yeah. Um, and he's, he brought my mom tonight. Oh, he did? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we watch them because you can't vote in these unless you really know who the people are. So once in a while, you just have to make time to do that. Are we getting rained on? No, actually, it's just the air conditioning. In New York City, these things happen. Oh, the tears of joy. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for coming by, and best oh, of luck tonight. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. God Thank bless you. you all. Good luck. Bye. Bye. And tell you what, we're going to be talking with Mimi in just a little bit later on. We're going to see if we can kill some of these air conditioners. Take it back to you now, Dagny. Thanks a lot, Michael. Now let's go back to Michael Kastner and Mimi Torchin in New York. They work too hard. They don't have time. Oh, to hi, Dagny. How you doing? Oh, yeah, doing a little reading there. Latest copy of Soap Opera Weekly. Plug, 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 plug. Actually, this is the new one. It tells you all about the Emmys, but I want to ask you about the Emmys that we've yeah. seen here. What do you think have been the highlights here for all of the fans? Well, I think I think getting to see Antonio Sabato Jr. real up close and personal would be a highlight for any fan. And, it was uh, for you. Well, it always is for me, <laughs> um, especially Antonio. Oh, those dimples. <laughs> God. All right, anyway. Um, what else? I, I think, the, especially for the people who don't get to see the California stars, I think in New yeah. York, getting to see all of those those stars from the California soaps is, is a thrill. You know, you, you, in L.A., people see uh, stars all the time on the streets. It doesn't happen so much here. And I think for, for fans who watch these people every day in their living rooms, to see them right there in front of them is is really probably a thrill that they don't forget. That's absolutely true, because I know these folks aren't going to forget it. No. Thank you so much for oh, being I've with us. So and we're going to toss it right on back today. Terrific. We'll be back in a second. Thanks a lot, Michael. Goodbye, Daddy! Bye-bye, Dags. I love you. I love you too, Michael. Thank you.